My name is Hussein. I'm a tour guide here in Bagamoyo. So I like to invite you here in Oriston Town and to explain the history of this place and to know what kind of historical attraction we have here in Oriston Town. So when, when you're here in Oriston Town, uh, you may uh, see several historical attractions. But among of them, this one building we are is called the Old, uh, Old Fort or Slave House. And also, uh, we have another place around here in Oldiston Town, the place which is called the Old Slave Market, where the slaves were sold during the slave trade and ivory during the Arab domination. And also, we have Old Slave Port. During the slave and ivory, some Africans were taken from interior. But before, after arrived here, they are going to take them to Zanzibar, where was the main slave market around the coast of the East Asia. So by the time there is a special port to transport those slaves from interior to Zanzibar, where was the main slave market. So when you hear also, we get the history about the Germany, about the British, and uh, the Swahili civilization during the colonization by the time. So the first, the history of the Bagamoro is the latter of the slave from the ivory. But uh, uh, by the time the slave trade and the ivory was starting, when the coast of the East African was controlled by the one sultanate known as Sultan Said Said, the man from the Oman. The man is called Sultan Said Said, and he dominated the coast of the East African since around 1840. So by the time the man who was uh, uh, transferred his capital city from the Muscat in Oman to Zanzibar, where they made in Zanzibar at the main empire of the Sultan of Oman. So by the time the Sultan of Oman after already in Zanzibar, he was introduced to several plantations in Zanzibar Island, especially the clove plantation, coconut plantation, and the spice plantation. So after introduce those plantations, the high demand of the worker were needed in Zanzibar Island. That's why the Sultan of Zanzibar divided the coast of the East African into three parts or into three ways. The first way was called the Central Way, starting here in Bagamoyo to interior. And the second way was called the Northern Way, starting from Mombasa in Kenya to Kilimanjaro up to Tanga, the one place which called the Pangani. But the third way starting from the uh, 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 thousand way starting from Kirwa close to Lake Nyasa up to Malawi and Mozambique so this slave way was introduced by the Sultan of Zanzibar the issue is to find labor or slaves but the main way was here in Bagamoyo so by the time the slaves who taken from interior were passing here in Bagamoyo but by the time slave masters were going interior especially from Congo from Burundi from Rwanda from Zambia and work with the slaves from there up to one point known as Ujiji Kigoma. So Ujiji Kigoma are the saint of the slave masters. Once collect their slaves from Congo, from Burundi, from Rwanda, before starting the journey from there up to here in Bagamo, we are now. So after arriving in Ujiji Kigoma, before starting the way, the slave masters by the time, they're gonna find some symbols to put them slaves. But the issue is to differentiate among themselves and to identify who is belong once work on the way. So among the slave masters, they're gonna remove the front teeth of the slaves, but among them, they're gonna cut the ear of the slaves, but some slave masters, they're gonna put some symbols at the like fire symbols for the slaves. But the purpose is to differentiate and any slave master to identify who is belong. So after make that situation, the slave master is starting the journey of the caravan from there up to here in Paris. Like that, the slave master, they're gonna see the expensive thing. So let me allow this man to find some slaves. But how they get some slaves over there? The African chief by the time, even themselves, they have a conflict among themselves. As the African chiefs in another tribe, so there's another chief in another tribe. Yeah. So they have a conflict. But what the conflict start? Or what the problem of the conflict? By the time, as the African chiefs with your people, maybe you have many, you have a, 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 a many group of the people the population yeah and you have a good landing in the fertility landing so which means you produce higher raw material in your place yeah but at the same time you are another chiefs and another people they don't have a fertility land and also they have a poor man there which means they're not could uh, uh, produce high raw material there so among the African chiefs they need some land to the another people so at the end of the day there is something like conflict among themselves so once he made conflict, the man, the chief from another man, they're gonna find those people from another tribe. They made like a criminal band, at like a bad man. So I do slave master once arrived here, once give me something like a gift. 
I see this is easy. Let me get a gift, but uh, I'm gonna give this man, but it's not my people. Is there another people from another place or from another tribe? So you're saying that basically those people who were given up to these Arabs who came in to enslave Africans, yes. they got permission from chiefs yes. who basically traded with them for gifts. Yes, and also once I get the gifts, once I get the gifts, the, the African chiefs allow you to find some slaves, but for the own technique. For the own technique, but the first must give the permission. So once they give you permission, so you're gonna going to find slaves for your own method. So what the most method or technique introduced by the slave master? Normally, the African by the time, the African they, by the time they're gonna stay to the villages. And uh, the village for the African chief and another village for the African chief is far. And also, they're going to find the water or the water source from the river, from the dam, from the lake. By the time there is nowhere, there is nowhere traditionally that there was specific well nearby the village by the time. So they're gonna, going to find some water, uh, water over there. So they're going to park in to lower around the forest. So that slave master. Or let them get the permission from the African chiefs. So how they do it, they're gonna hide to the forest over there. Even once kept some African, even make noise, the African chiefs, they can't hurt them because the African chiefs they identify what's going to happen over there. There is some African, there is some slave master, they were here in my village. So they're gonna find something like a slave. So even the once listen something like uh, noise for the your villagers. You can't going to help them because you know what's going to happen over there. So once cup them, they make like slaves. And also during the night, they're going to burn fire at the houses for the villages. And by the time they believe uh, that they, they depend on the grasses, they're going to build their building by using grasses. Do you know Makuti? No. The grass of the coconut. Yeah. And also they're going to build it by using trees like these. So once you burn it, when the fire starting around the village, which means the people are going to run away. So anybody who can walk around, who anybody who can run in from one place to another place is going to run. And nobody who can make together and to make like a unit to fight. So anybody running away to their own direction. So once start running, the slave masters, they're going to shoot them. They're going to take them like slaves because no unit, anybody run to their own direction. So around the village, you're going to still remain only grandmother, grandfather, the old man they're gonna stay over there, the children, they can't run, they're gonna stay over there. So those running they're gonna capture like a slave. And also some African chiefs, they're gonna betray the African. How they do as you slave master and you came here in my place and I'm a chief here. And those African by the time who I'm control them, they trust me. Each and everything once they say they believe it. So how I, I do I tell them this is my friend. Total, this is my friend. Mm. So he needs support from me. I'm a chief. I'm a man who control this area. So he needs support from me. This man, they have something like this. By the time they hit the slave master, they don't looking for only for the African. They don't looking only for the slaves, even for the resources. They're gonna find even the, the ivory, the minerals, the animal skins. So once collect over there, the African chief, they tell them the, 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 the African, help this man, this is my friend. And my friend of the chief even knew you are friends. So take this ivory, the animal skin, the minerals, help my friend from here to the coast. By the time the African, by the way, they don't know what are the cost. How far from there to the coast? They don't know. But the African chief say, so how we do must to follow the law of the African chiefs. So once you kill the ivory from interior to the coast, because they don't know what are the cost, how far from the here to the coast, they're gonna carry. So once you start the way, once you go to the coast, they don't come back again, they're still like it's slaves. Do you understand it? So yeah. this is something like where it was obtained by the slave by the slave master to get some slaves around the place by the time. So the chiefs basically sold their people out. They basically turned their backs on their people and they wind up selling them to the slave master. Yes. And this is how that they the Arabs were able to get into the interior Africa. Yes. By connecting with the chiefs of villages yes and the villages chiefs who had people from other villages yes as slaves they gave them over to the arabs exactly and also any slave master told you before any slave african chief has own place 
which means once passing through, because they're gonna pass through to the different place belong to the own chiefs, the different chiefs. So once you pass through maybe here in Bagamore, Bagamore is controlled by the one chief. And once passing through to the another place, you're gonna find another chief. So must to pay tax as you slave masters. You can't pass in Peru for free. You're gonna pay something. You're gonna pass to the own your domain place. The slaves master had to pay tax. Yeah, you're gonna pay like a tax to the slave to the African chiefs. Then like a permission to allow them to pass in Peru to the way to the specific place for the African chiefs. Okay. Do you see? Yes. And uh, uh, when you say the African chiefs, that's why by the time they're not, they're not uh, fighting against the slave masters, because sometimes as a slave master, you see, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna allow you to find some slaves in my domain place. But sometimes the slave master, they give them like a gift from the slaves. Do you see, you have a big land here, but you don't have work. So I'm a slave master. Uh, once I collect some slaves from another village over there, I will give you like a gift people to cultivate their own place to produce the high raw material. So you're a chief. The chief and the family of the chief does not work. Only for the people from another place, they're going to work. So you have a big land, but you not cultivate their own land. There is another guy who cultivated the gift from the slave master. So the slave, the ethical chief, they could not fight in, against the slave masters because the slave and the ivory was a profitable business for the among the African chiefs. Ivory, you mentioned. Yes. Ivory from what? From elephant. So from the elephant, they were taking ivory. Yes. And they would take this to transport it to the ports. Yes, from there to the port. So who carried? Okay. Slaves. Okay. You see? Yeah. So the slaves, they're gonna walk on street chain and the color ivory, the animal skins, the minerals, the wax, tortoise shells, rhino horns, they're gonna carry it. Yeah. When street chain. Okay, let me ask you this right here. So the Arabs, did they took slaves back with them to the where they came from? After Indanzibar, oh. Yeah, because you they would take slaves to Zanzibar. To the to the market, in Zanzibar market. By the, the time the slave market, the main slave market was in Zanzibar. Okay. But after they arrived in Zanzibar, the Zanzibar was the main empire of the Sultanity, known as Sultan Sidi. But he, he built the main market of there because that's the center business for the Sultanate and there is so many plantations over there. So among the slaves remain to the plantation of the Sultanate. But by the time the Sultanate, he get a like, lot of the slaves. Sultanate? Yeah, the Sultan. The Sultan. The, uh, that's Sultan? Like, yeah, he called the Sultan. That was an Arab leader? Yeah, the Arab leader. Okay. Yeah. But uh, before in Nandiba, he was in Muscat in Oman. He was where? Muscati. Muscati. Yeah, the place was called Muscat, the capital, at the city of the in, in Oman. Oman. Yeah. Do you hear about Oman? Yes, Oman. Yes. Oman. Yes. So before in Nandiba, around 1840, the Sultan shift his capital city from the Muscati in Oman to Nandiba Island. Okay. That's why he made Nandiba Island at a city center empire for the sultan that's why he built the market so those slaves after arriving in Dandiba, the sultan he's gonna choose those slaves who are still in Dandiba plantation and among the slaves has been sold to the another place especially the passion gulf the, do you know the, the, the country around the passion no iran iraq yemen so slaves were sold over there. So slaves were sold to Iraq, Iran. Iran. Country, yes. Okay. And you see? Oh. And also to the uh, 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 Mauritius Island, Caribbean Island, Madagascar, Reunion Island. But a few of them were taken from Dandiba to the Cape Town in South Africa. Okay. So around the coast of the East Africa, the slave trade which conducted around the coast of the East Africa, a lot of the slaves who taken around the coast of East Africa were sold in Arabian Arabian country. And some uh, some of these are island in Mauritius, Madagascar, Caribbean, and uh, among to the Cape Town. The place we are, the place where the Arabs or the slave masters use the port to transport some slaves from interior. Once I begin Bagamore, when I see here, and then they're using this place to transport them from here to Dandiba, where the main slave market around the coast of the East. But later, the port was taken by the German. But the German was 
German gonna use this area for the several years. But around the 1881, the German shifted the capital city from here in Bagamo to Dar es Salaam. But the reason, according to the shallow water of this port, the German said to shift from here to Dar es Salaam. And the port was still remain emptyless. But now it still remain at the port here in Bagamo, but not official. So, this whole slave trade thing, it, it was cooperated or collaborated with the Arabs and the chiefs. The slave masters. Yes. Yes. The slave masters, who's the Arabs. Yes. And the chiefs. Yes. They all were both in on it, giving up Africans to be slaves. Yes. Are there any wars that happen in history against the Africans fighting against the Arabs not to come in? No. <laughs> There is any kind. There is no any kind of resistance. There is no any kind of war uprising during the struggle and the evil against the slave masters. What year did this all start? What? What year? The year. Yes. The first in the slave trade around the coast of the East African is still spreading around the end of the 18th century up 19th century. But before that time, slave trade was here. Do you know uh, the first immigrant people? who are at the coast of the East African, the people from the Persian Gulf, we call Shalazi. You heard about that? No, Shalazi. The Shalazi people. The, the Persian... The Persian Gulf. The Persian Gulf. Yes. Okay. From Iran, from Yemen, they're the first immigrant people. they the first who, immigrant people. Yeah, they settled around the coast of the East Africa. Okay. So that people, they did not conduct slaves and ivory. Around the 13th century they were here. Yeah. 13th century. But the, third, uh, but the second immigrant people are the Portuguese. Okay. Around the 15th century. So the Portuguese started slave trade around the coast of the East Africa. So it was they the Portuguese who came in and started slaves. Yes. The they slavery trade. Slaves here in the coast of the East Africa. Okay. But at that time, there's not known, known well, known why. But uh, later, the Portuguese chased out by the Oman. People. The Arab people. Yeah, the Arab people from Oman. The Portuguese, I understand that, yes. Yes. The Portuguese people were chased out by yes, the Arabs. The Arabs. Yeah. So when the Arabs came in, the purpose of the Arabs is to find the end uh, the, the, the raw material. The raw material. That's why they could found they could produce or introduce the plantation in Dandibai. So they produce the plantation, but no work, no work. What are the people? What are they going to get the labor? And the people around the coast, by the time they bring the people around the coast, the few people and also is not strong man who can work for the plantation. Mm -hmm. That's why he said to find another people from interior of Tanganyika. So it basically, it wasn't enough workers as far as strong help on the coast. Yes. They decided to venture into the interior. Yes. But they would not be able to get in through the interior unless they got with the chiefs. Yes, because okay. at the time, how can you know the way? And let me tell you something. Do you know, uh, before the sovereign rivalry, as the trouble before the Asian were here, and they make business, but the business at the time was the, uh, a barter trade. Barter trade, yeah, yes. the barter trade. So the people who gonna made barter trade, they're going to come from the interior also. Yeah. And uh, they work from interior with something like a salt, something like a copper, something like a ivory, from interior of the central if you come from Congo over there. Yeah. So they carry. And by the time, at the meeting point is around the coast of the East Africa. Because by the time, this is the main way transport, the water transport, the Indian Ocean. So even the people from the Asia, even the people from the another country, they're gonna come to the Indian Ocean. So the meeting point was the coast of the East Africa. Okay. So they came from there, they're going to make their business here to exchange goods, the goods of the people in around the coast of the East Africa and another people from the Asia of there. That's why when they start, uh, when the slave trade start, there is a man, the African, they already know the way from here to the interior because they let uh, they, they, they already make business before the slave and rifle. That's why those leeway, Central way, Southern way, the Northern way, there is a main tribes who conduct, who help those slave masters to conduct or to produce some slaves from interior to Tanganyika.
So I would do as a slave master once I arrive here in Bagamoyo. You can't go into there because you don't know the way from here to the interior. Right. You see. So those African who make slay, uh, who make business, who make long distance trade, who make battle trade, or didn't know the way from here to the interior. So you may make them like a porters who can help you to walk on the way from here to the interior, and also to show you this place is under man, this guy here, and this place is controlled by this man here. So you're supposed to start over there to get the permission which can allow you to go interior. Okay, so if I understand correctly, that the slave, the slave, uh, I hate to say slave trade. The slave masters. The, the slave masters, they, this whole thing started in what year? 1800s, 18th century? The, in the end of the 18th century. Okay. By the time the, the Oman came. Yeah. You see, the Oman? Yeah. Already because during the Oman and the Portuguese, there is a war. Right. To check them out. So after the war, the end of the 18th century, the Oman or the Sultan came around the coast of East Africa nearby in Dance Island. Okay. Yes. Okay. So the end of the 18th century, up 19th century, the slave trade conducted around the coast of the East. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. Gotcha. Now here in Bagamoya, uh, Moya, Bagamoya means what? Yes. So the name Bagamoya is coming during the slave trade, I believe, during the slave time. But before. It's called what? Lay down the burden of your heart. But before it's not a bag of oil. Okay. The slave people, the slaves and the slave porters, after starting their journey from interior up to here in Bagamoyo, after arriving here in Bagamoyo, Bagamoyo was their first place where the slaves rest. The first point of the or the first building when arrived here, the slaves when arrived here in Bagamoyo, the first one place was in Caravan Serai. Caravan Serai. That so, was the first place they would the slaves would go to. Yes. So the caravan salai was used by the slave masters as accommodation or lodge for the slave masters. The lodge for the, the slaves. For the slave masters. For the slave masters. Yeah, it's not for the slaves, for the slave masters. Okay. That's why when the slave master after arrived here in Bagamoyo with their slaves must arrive in the caravan salai. The slave master stay into the caravan salai, but the slaves still around outside the caravan salai. Okay, gotcha. So after arrived up there, the slave master, they're going to change, they're going to choose, they're going to select who is strong, who is weak. Those strong one slaves were taken from there up to here we are now, on the way to the port, from the port to the bar. But the weak one slaves still remain in caravan salai, under the slave masters, and you are still remain as a domestic servant to the slave master family. But later once become strong, we are sold here in Bagamore. That's why... We have all the slave market. Okay. So you have the slave market. Yeah, but for those weak slaves. For the weak slaves. Yeah, once still remain in Bagamore for several years, for several days, for several weeks, once become strong, the slave masters, they want to take them to the slave market to sell them over there to get some profit from them. Oh, okay. Yes. So once they get them strengthened back up and healthy, they would take them to the slave markets and sell them in yeah in in dandiba or here in bagamore here in bagamore the slaves yeah not understand what your question yes i'm saying you said the weak yeah the weak, weak slaves once to remain here for the several days for several weeks once get the energy yes because by the time it was a week right so once get the energy yes the slave masters they're gonna sell them to the slave market in that in, in bagamore right yes yes okay and then they will then go from there over to Zanzibar. No. No. Once by over there, this uh, this market nowadays, by the time, with a small one market. Right. You see? So those slave masters who buy the slave from there are those people who are going to make them at the labor to their own plantation around here in Bagamore. Oh, there'll but be slaves here locally. Yes. Okay. At the domestic seven. So the man are going to buy they issue to produce some raw material to the plantation of the owner who buy the slaves over there. Okay. Yes. Safi. Okay. Yes. So, all right. So I understand. So what other place is known here in Bagamoya? For the slaves. For the slaves, yeah. It's on that. Especially okay. uh, at the trolley before there is a Roman Catholic. But the Roman Catholic is talk about the abolition of the slave trade. 
you see, because uh, uh, this is taken is starting during the, the missionary. When the missionary came, we can move maybe to 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 to, 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 to find some place, and this man or these children are gonna sit here. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you can. That's but that's okay. okay. The the so so, all right. So that's basically the history of the slave trade yes. here at Bagamoyo. Yes. We had the north entry, the south entry, and the central entry. Yes. And so then that the slaves were brought here. Yes. The the slave masters stayed over at the the uh, caravan. Caravan. Yes. And the weak ones were held back for a time till they got healthy. Yes. Sent them over to the sl slave market. Slave market. Yes. They would be traded amongst slave masters stay Federal here on the uh, stay here on the mainland yes but the strong ones would go over to, to zanzibar, to zanzibar yes. where they had a slave market yes and sell them to other slave masters yes but that's and so they would be sent over to iraq iran yep. oman yes. and all that Yemen, there Carab caribbean island mauritius island madagascar island so those were gonna stay over there but okay. among them stay in then the confrontation under the sultanate or sultan Okay, and you yes. mentioned that basically with these slaves here on the mainland, they had crops that um, they were that they were using the slaves as to, to for to for the uh, plantation. Yes, which but, was like cassava. No, no, what were they used no. for? No, by the time uh, the plantation, the main one plantation of the Zanzibar Island is only crop plantation, spice plantation, and the coconut plantation. So, what was the slave used here for? To, to cut the bait over there, to weed over there, and to harvest the coconut plantation. Here? Y in Dandiba Island. But here, on, here, yes. only there is a coconut here, there is an ananas here, there is a cassava here for the local people around this place. Right. And among the slave masters, they're going to build, they're going to cut the bait only coconut plantation around the coast of the East Africa in Bagamore place. So they cultivated just coconut? Yeah, coconut plantation and ananas plantation. Ananas and coconut. Yes. Got you, got you. Okay, so in closing, I know there's another group coming in. So, when did the slavery end? The, 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 the end. When did it end? Yes, so as I told you before, uh, there is uh, some people known as the missionary. Yes. You see? Uh, around the 1860, yeah. among the European nations, yes. already have industrial revolution. Right. So there is a man of the travel, there is a man of the agent of the colonialism, like an uh, explorer. The missionary, the traders start to travel around the coast of East Africa. For one example, the man known as Dr. W. Livingstone. Do you hear it before? The who? Dr. W. Livingstone. Dr. David Livingstone. Livingstone. Yes, okay. And among the uh, Anglican missionary, he came in around the coast of East Africa to make some research and also the man who start write the letter to stop slavery around the coast of the East Africa. Right. And also the missionary, they were here in uh, the coast of the East Africa, especially here in Bagamoy mainland, around the 1868. Yeah. But the issue of the missionary is to abolish slavery in Ivory and also to introduce Christian religion around the coast of the East African mainland. Gotcha, gotcha. So after I here, how they do to abolish or to stop they're gonna buy some slaves from the slave masters. The missionaries. The missionary. Yeah. And then they're gonna buy some slaves from the slave market when they're from the slave masters. Yeah. And once buy them, they're gonna make them to the one village. And they're gonna call that village as the freedom village. Okay. So once make them to the freedom village, the slave ma uh, the, 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 the missionary, they're gonna teach them the slaves to the different activities, especially. They're going to teach them to the agriculture issue. They're going to teach them to the carpenter, to the build, build some building, to the studying. So they're going to teach them in order to, 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 uh, to, to, to handle the himself, to depend the himself from the slavery to the free slavery. Okay, where is this free town at? In the Roman Catholic Museum. There's a location Catholic, here that's yeah, called Free Town. Roman Catholic compound. Oh, gotcha. Some place, what are the missionaries? They're going to build something like a village for the, all those slaves who still become the free. Okay. Called the Freedom Village. But the end of the Freedom Village, the ex slaves, all those slaves who still free by the time, 
around 1876, the ex-slaves, they're going to try to give them thanks to build something which called the grotto. The slaves are going to build the thumb building to the missionary to thank them according to liberate them from the slavery. Yeah. The one called the grotto. But even that time, Okay. But even the time, the missionary started to abolish the slave trade in the ivory, but the slave trade in the ivory was not end up. Okay. So then after that, the Berlin Conference came in and they divided up Africa. No. Before, the missionary once started the anti-slavery campaign, but the, the slaves trade in the ivory was not stopped. But there is another way was obtained by the, uh, by the British to stop the slavery in the ivory. Okay. You understand it? But uh, uh, what they do, the, 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 the British, by the time the coast of the East African was under control by the Sultan. So the British nation, they decided to sign some treaty with the Sultanate or the Sultan to stop slavery in the ivory. So the first treaty was called the Mores by Treaty around 18. 22. The first treaty yes. with the Brits to try to get the, the uh, Arabs to stop slave yeah, trade. Stop slave. It's called what? Mores by treaty. Okay. Mores by that the man from the beach. Okay. So that's why the treaty was called Mores by. Okay. You see? Yeah. And the second treaty was called Hamilton Treaty. But each treaty, there is their own agreement. This Mores by treaty. The British allowed the Sultan to sell slaves within his domain place, but not outside of the domain place. So when the migrant people arrived here in Tanganyika or in the coast of the East African, they're going to change the name of this place. By that time, it was a Pumbuji, as I told you before, at the Wet and the Fertility Land. But when the immigrant people we call Shalazia, the first immigrant people who settled along the coast of the East African, after arrived here, they came with a new culture. The first, that people, they ran away from their home place are called the religious conflict. The they people. ran away, the Arabs ran away, the first immigrants. Yes. The they Shalazi. landed here, which was the Arabs. Yes, uh, the Arab. They left, they left their place. Yeah, according to the religious conflict. The religious what? Conflict. There is something war, religious war, the war. Oh, the religious yeah, wars yeah, that were going on conflict. over there in their country. Yes, in, okay. in, 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 in Iran, Iraq, by the time, yeah. around 10, 11, 12th century, there is a war over there. Yeah. We call it jihadi war. Yeah. Okay, so the people, they're going to still run away yeah. from the home place to find the good one place around right. the coast of the East. So they came here. Yeah, so they, 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 they came with the, by using the uh, uh, Indian Ocean. Yeah. The one known as Muslim Weeds, because by the time, they used only Weeds. So they came straight up here in Bagamore. But there is a several place they're going to settle in the, around the coast of the East Asia. It's not only here. Yeah. The first one was called in Mogadishu in Somalia. Do you hear it? Yes. And also the one place which is called Ilamu in Kenya. Yeah. And also the one place which is called is Zanzibar Island also going to settle there. Mm -hmm. And also the one place in the northern part in Tanganyika, Tanzania is called Tanga, the one place which is called Pangani. And also here in Bagamore. And Kirwa, Dar es Salaam, or the one place we call it Kunduchi, they're gonna settle in several places. So after right here, the people they introduced the Islamic religion. Now let me ask you a question right here. People say that the Arabs did not force Islam to on the people. The Where's Arab the history that you have been you've studied and what does you all's history say? That the Muslims today mm -hmm. They say, no, the Arabs did not force us to turn to Muslim Islam. Mm -hmm. We embraced Islam. We decided to take on Islam, but they did not force us. That does not force them. Okay. Yeah, because uh, uh, when the Muslim came, when the people from the Persian, they told you before, the people from the Persian, the Arabs, we call Shirazi another, another name, are the among the people who introduced Islamic religion here. But after every year, they're going to meet some Africans over here and have own religious beliefs. They have own 
religious beliefs. So some among the Asian the Africans, Africans had their own religious yeah, beliefs. Yeah, their own religious beliefs. What religious beliefs did Africans have back then? Normally, they're gonna believe everywhere. Some among the slaves, they're going around down the tree. They're gonna believe them. They're gonna going around the monument. They're gonna build on the monument. They're gonna make on the monument. Among them, going to stone to the mountain. They're gonna believe there. So any tribes, any guys has own beliefs. I'm saying, what was the spiritual beliefs of the so-called Africans in this area? Yes. Did they believe in this uh, spiritual God? Did they believe in, you know, the sun being God? Or yeah, something like that. What it's, was it? Do you know the it history? Means, even nowadays, do you know, uh, I know this because even nowadays we are, some of the people around in Bagmore, they believe something which you can't believe it because uh, uh, they don't know about the God. They're going to believe maybe down of the tree, but they once pray over there, once succeed for their own purpose over there, they believe that the tree gives them the love. But, okay. So they, maybe they're going to believe God, but it flew the tree. Yeah. You understand it? Did they have a spirituality to believe in a higher being, an almighty? Did they believe in a God, but they believe that the God can touch them through the tree or Yes, what? like nowadays we are. Even uh, the Christian, they're going to believe God, but they're through the Jesus. You understand it? With the Muslim, they're going to believe the God, but they're through the one prophet known as Muhammad. Right. You understand it? So even that among the people, they don't have something like a belief to, to, uh, to believe the Christian or to believe the uh, prophet Muhammad. They're going to pray to the tree, so they believe the tree, he can give the connection of their own God. So once you get something like a, a, a succeed, but it through the tree was believed there. Okay. You understand it? Yeah. Yes. So before, uh, when the Ligand came around this place, the Ethicans were here and they're going to have own beliefs. Right. So how they do the Shalaz people? They built some prayer building like a mosque. They built a school. We call Madrasa. They're going to build from there. And then they're going to convince some Ethicans, but not force them. They're going to tell them the truth. This is a good way straight to their God. So once you believe this, you are seeing the good way. But once you believe this one here, this is a bad way. So some African, because anybody has own idea, anybody has own blame. So among them believe it, but among them does not believe it. So by the time, some African also combine together to the Muslim. But some of them, even nowadays, they still remain to their own beliefs. So nowadays, Bagamore, the eighty percent of the people around here in Bagamore are the Muslims. The Muslims. Yes. Eighty percent. Yeah, eighty percent. But later, the missionary came. The missionaries came and convert people to Christianity. Yeah, exactly. That's why they save it path into nowadays in Bagamore. Christian. How many? What percent? Save it. Seventeen. Seventeen percent. Yeah, percent. Okay. But the three one still remain for their own beliefs. Yeah. Okay. So, what are the areas, the buildings here that has the slave uh, here in Bagamoya that dealt with the slaves? Because we have this building here is what? Slave camp. This is a slave camp. camp. Yes. Okay. So, the slave camp is where they basically. What was this? Where they held the slaves? Yes, normally. Waiting uh, to go to Zanzibar. Yeah, exactly. But uh, the told you before, there is several buildings. Because the slaves, once arrived here in Bagamore town, there is a special place. They're going to stop for the several weeks, for the several days, and then start to work to another building. But on the way to Zanzibar. What was the next building? Port. They would go from this here, this slave camp, go to the port. Yeah, to the port, to Zanzibar. To Zanzibar. Yes. So in this, by that time, this place we are, this is slave camp, but uh, uh, the slave master also they arrive here. Yeah. And the slave master they have own special place to stay inside. Right. But the slaves are still outside because by the time the slave masters they're gonna find they're gonna look the ethic and all the slaves like any human being. You see, they're gonna chain them. Yeah. They're gonna stay outside. So they don't care about the land. They don't care about the sun. They're gonna stay over there. They call. They don't care about that. Because by the time the African, they don't have even clothes like this. Do you see? So they're going to stay over there. They're going to chain them to the stone or to the tree, the big one tree. The slave mothers stay inside, but the slaves stay outside of there. Is there a number of how many slaves. Africans were enslaved? Yes. Normally, 
in the central way this central way in Bagamo we call central way yeah from here Congo Burundi Rwanda that is central way but uh, uh in there's some historical book nowadays still written something uh 50,000 slaves per year arrived here in Bagamo 50,000 slaves per, per year. year how many years so as I told you before, around the, eight, the end of the 18th century, right. up the 18th century. Okay. But every year, 50,000 slaves arrive here in Bagamoyo. But 50,000 slaves arrive here in Bagamoyo, but interior, once you collect five slaves, four die, one survive here in Bagamoyo. Okay. When you have five slaves interior, four die, one survive here in Bagamoyo. Okay. So per year, here in Bagamoyo is 50,000 slaves. So just imagine how many slaves conducted over. How many did not make it here? There are so many slaves taken to, to, to the interior, but so many slaves died on the way. Right. And the slaves were taken to the interior to go ahead and gather up the goods to bring back. What? The slaves were taken to the interior? Yes. To gather goods yes. to carry back yes, out. Yes, to carry that cargo. Carry the cargo and yes. everything yes. out to get to Zanzibar. But after arriving in the port over there, the slave master, they're going to make something like a DAO. Do you know DAO? Yes. Yes. So the slaves from here to Dandiba, they're going through the Indian Ocean. So they're going to put them in the, in, into the DAO. Yeah. With the, on the cargo over there, the, the ivory, the animal skin, they're going to put over there. But by the time, the technology is not like that, this time we right, are. Right. So they're going to depend on the winds, the direction of the winds. So sometimes the weather change on the way. So even slaves from here to Dandiba, among them die on the way. Right. Because once you put something like 50 people, 50 slaves to the only one die, when the weather change on the way, the slave master, they don't care to reduce some slaves to drop in the water and some slaves to survive. 